Ba -da -da. I think that should all be updated, hopefully. Let's make sure I can actually do everything. Okay. I don't remember what I was doing. I was doing a gym. Oh, it's the ice gym. Check my Pokemon out quickly. Oh, I need to do that as well. I need to check. Uh, Volga, come on, white, uh, level, uh, level, caps, I don't know, I, I guess it's, wait, gym levels or something, I remember, I, I remember what the term is, uh, yeah, sure, we'll just look at this, I don't care if it spoils the gym. Um, I think we're doing the ice one. No, ice one. Thirty-seven and thirty-nine is the big. So my team being thirty-seven is with one of them of forty. It's fair enough. And in fact, we can put you up first. Right, we should be good. Just gotta do one more check. Alright then, hey guys, it's your boy Flame Ninja. Hope you're a fairly good day. I'm a fairly good day myself. And today, yeah, Pokemon. I haven't played in a while, of course, because uh, Genshin had an update and F14 had an update. Uh, so I was like, I was thinking about doing some Genshin stuff because new characters, I don't know if they're out now or if they're, well, not new characters, re re returning characters. I don't know if they're out now, but I definitely know they're out tomorrow, but I'm probably just going to be doing that with my friend. Uh, rolling with my friends rather than on stream. But yeah, so I thought, hey, fuck it. Let's jump back into Pokemon, you know. Haven't done it for a while. So uh, let's do that. Hi, Finimations. Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> I'm, uh, I guess for myself, I'm quite tired. <laughs> I've I've worked today and I just had dinner not too long ago. So the food has made me tired, to say the least. But uh, I should be able to easily go for at least, like, an hour and 15 minutes, you know. Oh, nice and you as well. Good to see you as well. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, just jump into the game. If I can remember what scene it is. Bingo. <laughs> okay, everything is correct. Right. Uh, I think I was just about to go do the ice gym last time. I think so. I don't believe there's anything else. Let me quickly check how much money I have in case... Uh, I don't want to lose it. Oh god, I've actually got a fair bit of money. I should probably spend some of that. <laughs> you never know, you might just get bodied by a random AI hitting like five crits in a row. I've missed, I, I've, I've missed like four hydro pumps in a row. So uh, I wouldn't put it past the game to do that. Um, that and then hyper potions. Hyper potions, oh my god, I got a lot of hyper potions. Uh, I guess revives? Yeah, I don't know many of these. Because I only really use them outside of combat. But, eh, they're useful. Full heals? I've got 11. Uh, I guess max rebels then. Sure. <laughs> I always like spending my money in Pokemon games. You can never be sure. <laughs> it, it, summer. Yeah, it's definitely summer in February. February. Nuzlocke stream when? Nuzlocke stream nether. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't have to do the um grinding part of Nuzlocke's, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I've done a Nuzlocke before, and I got so fucking bored. <laughs> uh, Oz Path two coming out in two weeks and three days. Yo, that's good to hear. Hope you enjoy that game. Oh god, no Pokemon Ice Puzzles. But my Gang Splatoon 3. Oh, well, happy birthday in advance for that, because I don't think I'll be speaking to you then. I hope you enjoy your birthday. I hope it goes well. Uh, oh, wait, I can just go straight. Curve. Okay, so you can, like, bank shot, but, like, weirdly. Okay, that's fair. I will enjoy. No one can stop me. I will enjoy the game. No one can stop me. Oh, yeah, we're getting a Nintendo Direct uh, tomorrow. I just remembered because uh, I'm probably going to be watching that with my friends, as we normally do. Um, what do I think is going to be in the Direct? Octopath Traveler 2 is going to be there. 
Breath of the Wild 2 news? Probably? I mean, I think the game's coming out this year, so I'll just assume... <gasps> Okay. Uh, I'll just assume they're going to do something uh, to do Breath of the Wild uh, 2. Um, I can't really think of any other Nintendo games that are coming out. It'd be cool to see a new Mario game come out, uh, like get announced, because it's been a while since Odyssey, I'm pretty sure, so it would be cool. But I'm pretty sure it's a very long time between Mario games. Uh, Mario Kart 8 is probably going to get more DLC maps, I assume. <laughs> uh, hopefully Genshin on Switch, fucking finally. I doubt it. Uh, but, you know, Genshin's been announced to be on Switch for, like, two years at this point, and it just has never come out, um, so that'll be good to see. Uh, oh, fuck. Um, I type with Brine. Uh, Clive can probably handle it. I can't really think of too many... Oh, doesn't the... Uh, no, the new Fire Emblem game did come out. It's not been announced, it's coming out. I can't remember to share the direct, so I'll just share YouTube for new art, but yeah, yeah, that is fair. I don't blame you. I think, I think the new Fire Emblem game did come out already, so I don't think that's gonna get any news. Well, it's probably it's probably gonna get some sort of news. Be like, oh, this game came out like a week ago. Harvestella's gonna get some news and be like, yeah, guys, remember this game? It it exists. Because Square Enix is a very consistent thing of releasing games and then forgetting they exist. They're just like, oh yeah, we're going to release uh, Harvestella, and then we're never going to do any... We're going to put no marketing into it, because... Yeah, you already have... Yeah, you're a Frillish, yeah. Because you said you wanted to be named after my next Pokemon, and uh, I got a Frillish, because I wanted a water type. Cryogonal. Weird Pokemon. It's like a... It's just a really cold Bronzor. Uh, yeah, I can't think of too much stuff. Oh, the Bayonetta 3, no, Bayonetta 3 did come out, and that had some shit about it because of the whole voice actor thing, which is a bit fucky. Uh, is that neutral damage? No, it's super effective, okay. Uh, Harry, the Harry Potter game came out, and, um, people were enjoying it, which is pretty pog. Uh, I haven't heard from my sister yet about how she's enjoying it, but I'm assuming when she does play it, She's going to be enjoying it because she pre-ordered that shit. So uh, I won't be surprised. Honestly, look at the combat. The combat doesn't look bad. Like, for once in a fucking game, the magic actually has, like, impact. Like, when a person gets hit by a magic bolt, it doesn't just like, oh, my HP is decreased. <coughs> for so forsaken. Um, no, it actually looks like the magic has impact. The fact that it, like, knocks people around and... The whole like throwing people in the air and yeeting a rocket. But that, it looks it looks pretty fun. I don't know if I'll get it myself. Um, I'm not that interested in Harry Potter myself, so I miss out on a lot of the whole like, oh my god, I'm in the Harry Potter world. You sort of miss out on that big thing. It's like a, if a Lord, it's like the Lord of the Rings games. I've never been that interested in because for me, Lord of the Rings is it's it's a good thing. Don't get me wrong, but I just never was that interested in it. Um, pirate, it, true. If I ever did want it, pirate. It. Um. But yeah, no, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I would personally get it myself. Um, I'll see. It, it might, I might get it, depending on uh, how it goes and stuff. But honestly, I, I, I'm still sad that there's no like. There is like two video games I've seen that do magic well. That's Wizard of Legend and Tales of Arise. Those are like the two games in which magic is actually like fun, <laughs> in my opinion. Toes of the Rise is a really fun action magic system where you have, like, the whole storing magic to instant cast and, like, boost magic. Like, too many games play it too safe with magic. You either have, like, the... Oh, forgot. The fucking psychic type, I think. You either have the sort of safe magic, which a lot of games do, which is just, like little pew pews of little magic bolt pew pews where it's like yeah it works with the combat but it's not that interesting and then you have the other type of magic in games where you basically it's basically like turn-based combat it's a, you 
it's really cool and spectacle, but you have very little input on it. And it's just kind of, you're basically a cutscene every time you press the magic button. Inferno. Oh, is this basically fire? Oh, it's like a really bad fire blast. Why does this move exist? No. Wait, what is Hex? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, and then Nightshade. Yeah, yeah I'm not getting bothered with that. Give up moves. Give up. Ten. <laughs> Just ten. <laughs> um, but yeah, for me, Wizard of Legend and Tales of Arise are, like, the top tier in terms of, like, magic. Like, Wizard of Legend is just basically... I, just the entire combat system is magic and it's just clean. And it's just going to start counting down. <laughs> just counting down. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're counting down to. Unless it's almost their birthday. And like, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a bit too early for that. But, uh, you know, hoping. Hope for a dream. Ah, shit. <laughs> I like. I also like how each number also has to make sure to have a full stop after it. You know, you gotta be sure. I'm assuming I've gotta go hit the um, like button. Oh yeah, because I gotta go do this, fight this guy, go around there, hit button, spin it, hit it, view bank shot. Maybe anyway, honest, nothing happened. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, people get as a legend. Have fun. I hope they enjoy it. All I saw was, I'm pretty sure I saw the news about how, like, just this, uh, these two people were basically streaming, uh, with the, uh, fucking Harry Potter game, and they were just getting constantly harassed by people, and they just stopped stream because they were just getting constantly harassed, which I feel bad for. I understand the people, people, like, they don't support the creator behind it, but I don't think bullying people enjoying the game is really going to do much. Like, I don't like football, but I'm, I, like, some, 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 like, football managers are kind of cunts, but I'm not going to go rugby tackle a kid playing football. I have a hate for it, but there's no need to just, like, Bully random people who are just trying to play a game. That's just kind of sad. Um, but yeah, hope hopefully that whole situation like gets sorted out. <laughs> hopefully, we're probably gonna see a repeat when a uh, bloody uh Atomic Heart comes out. I Atomic Heart is one I'll probably be getting myself because it's. Fucking Bioshock. It looks great. It just looks like another Bioshock. And Bioshock's fucking fantastic. The trailer is so hype. It looks like just such a non-nonsense. JK Rowling says this is also kind of sad. Yeah, it is sad. It is shitty. But that's the one thing I don't understand. Hating JK Rowling. That is completely correct. Because a bit of a cunt. But I don't get the idea of, oh, boycott this game because J.K. Rowling's associated. What about the, like, hundreds of developers who worked on the game who also need to make money to, you know, have an income? Because if the game sells bad, sure, J.K. Money gets a left, like, misses a million from her pocket. She doesn't care. What about the developers who could potentially lose a job? Like... Good job. You've, like, kicked a bunch of people out of a job just because they worked on a video game. Go this way? Nope. Do I? No, I don't go. Hmm. Wait, can I? Oh, no, let's just go loop around there. Wait, I can, I can go down there, but that doesn't help, does it? Fucking Pokemon ice puzzles. <laughs> Literally harder than algebra. I have a feeling I have to... 
Wait, I can just head over there. Wait, how have I not done this yet? And then I can bank shot this? Yes, okay, I'm here. Okay. I don't know how this... Oh, because I can go up. There's the switch. Okay, up, down, there. Hey! I am literally a Beyblade. Oh, careful. Don't want to battle. I'm still waiting for hopefully Elden... We're not going to get Elden Ring fucking information on the Nintendo Direct. Or Hytale news. The only, the like big things I'm waiting for this year is Elden Ring DLC news, of course. And Hytale news. I would love some Hytale news. Uh, I don't think the... I don't think the game's going to come out. And I don't think we're getting a beta this year. Because of how, like, behind the scenes at Hightail, they've been, like, uh, redoing the engine and everything. Because they want it to be compatible on multiple different systems and stuff. Which is completely understandable for what they're doing. Um, but I would love to just see some news. Because it's... I think the last time we got Hightail news was... Well, the last time we got a blog from Hightail was last year's summer... Completely forgot Hytale exists. Oh, don't worry. You and like 99% of the people who saw the trailer. Literally every time I mention Hytale to my friend, they're like, Oh, I forgot that game exists. Thank you for reminding me. Like, I'm literally just their like Hytale updater. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, Hytale still exists. And they're like, true. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Hytale genuinely has, like, such incredible potential as a game. Haha, uh, -ha, Minecraft 2. But the fact that Hytale looks like it's going to be a culmination between Terraria and Minecraft, plus all the, like, modding tools and community tools and shit. Like, the game looks like it has insane potential. Um, but, of course, with that potential becomes a lot of, like... Uh, Scary stuff for the developers of like, oh god, what if we don't meet the criteria? Why did I just swap into a fucking ground type? He's got ice beam. Goodbye, crocodile. He doesn't have stab, but you know. Um, I don't blame them for like taking the time and sort of going silent because it's it's scary, you know. I would be scared if I was making high tail. I'd be like, holy shit, there's like. Fuck it. We were just gonna make this game for fun, but now everyone's looking at us. Um, but I do hope it goes well, and we just have to see. Give it like two, three more years. Let's just hope it's not another Yandere simulator of a game that just. I, I can't even joke about like, oh, a game that never came out because I'm pretty sure Yandere Simulator did come out, and I was just like, huh? I'm pretty sure it's in like a really buggy sort of unfinished state, but. It released. He, he's got that under his belt, at least. He did technically release it. Ow. <laughs> um. Oh, God, that's Blizzard. What's that? Oh, it's just like, um... I guess I guess a, book, a simple way to put it is a, it's a trend. It's one of those trending games. It was a game from... I think it trended in, like, 2014, I'm pretty sure. Or, like, 2016. Uh, it was like one of those uh, games that just sort of trends and gets really big. And uh, it basically got big and then it... A bunch of... I, I can't even cover the news. It's it's literally like a decade worth of like story that I can't even like remember fully. Uh, but basically it's a game that got trending. It got popular. People, of course, it got popular. So people wanted to know, oh, when this is when is this coming out? And then it just didn't for like a decade. It's one of those games. It's sort of, that sort of like 2014, I would, I feel, I feel like that 2014, a very boring game. Yeah, it is quite boring, honestly. Um, 2014, I would say eh, about 2013-ish, maybe. Or maybe 2012. I feel like 2012 to like 2016 or maybe 15 was like, those were the years in which every fuck like, Early access was, like, the big thing. Like, every game was early access. But that was also during the period in which I feel like every game was early access, but 90% of the games that were early access never left early access. Like, Ark Survival Evolved, like, what is it? It came out early access, didn't get updated for, like, 
multiple years had DLC before, like Arc Survival Evolved. I'm pretty sure had DLC while it was in early access, and then it just released like unfin un but well, not unfinished. The game already the game has tons of content and stuff, and a lot of people enjoy it. But it's just it was sort of just. I feel like Ark Survival Evolved is one of those games where it's been in early access for so long and everyone just sort of... It, it very much was a game where people were just like, oh yeah, that game exists. I completely forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I'm sure people do it. People do enjoy it. I've got a friend who plays it. So, uh, of course, I've actually got multiple apps, you know, I think about it. Um, and I played it a fair bit because it was free on um, Epic Games. But overall, it's fine. And to be fair, I feel like these days, the stigma towards early access is sort of gone. Like back in, I would say, 2016 to 2017, everyone fucking hated early access stuff. Because because it was just a big red flag of like, this game's not going to be finished. Whereas these days, there are a lot more like competent game developers. Um, well... I wouldn't say there's more competent game developers. It's just popular games tend to get finished, like uh, Dead Cells. Um, I think Slay the Spire. Hopefully, Seekers of Grindia soon. I am really fucking looking forward to that. <gasps> Don't kill my boy! No! He's fine. He lived. Um, Minecraft is, of course, the big one. Of course, the whole early access boom happened because Minecraft was early access, so every company was like oh, we can just release an unfinished game based and now p and now companies just release unfinished games without the early access tag haha <laughs> commentary um very very creative joke there me <laughs> am i the only one who's sort of like bored of the same repeated joke of haha triple a game released in you know released the beta as the full game it's just like dude <laughs> Oh no, Kring, pretty much. Um, for me, I, don't, I I'm very much in this weird area. As a game developer, I, I very much am in this area of which I can understand why a lot of AAA games these days do feel unfinished. Like the I I this that thing where you sort of see everyone's like, oh my god, the gaming industry's over, and I'm like. We just had fucking Elden Ring release right year last year. Like one of the best games of like the last like one of the best games of the decade. It arguably one of the best games ever made. Was just released last year. What are you on about the gaming industry's dead? God of War was apparently fucking amazing. Uh, and then God knows the amount of indie games that are coming out. I feel like the people who say the gaming industry are dead are People who maybe play Call of Duty and, like, Battlefield. Best game of the money. Yeah, honestly, it's a fucking amazing game. Um, I, I do just feel the people who say the gaming industry is dead are, like, the people who play, like, five games a year. Like, maybe they'll pick up Call of Duty, FIFA, and then they'll try out, like, three games. And then, based off those games, they immediately assume, oh, gaming industry dead. It's just like, what? Have you not, like, played any game? <laughs> do you not play... Do you not have phones? Final Fantasy XIV got fucking one of the... Uh, Endwalker. The ending to potentially the best video game story of all time. Literally ended two years ago. That ch fucking... Just, uh, that this year alone, that's fucking based. I need to play more new games. To be fair, I got back into TF2 though, and that shit's been fun. As much as that's a over decade old game, nearly two decades. Give it a few years. Um. Uh. I would play more games this year, but I don't want to spend more money. <laughs> I can only spend so much. Sag. I also think I do probably have one or two games this on my backlog. Oh, that dark! Oh my god, I just remembered. I need to try Dark and Darker. 
because there's a demo out for it that like I saw that and it looks kind of fun. From what I get from it, it's basically Escape from Tarkov, but medieval fantasy. And hey, yeah, I like that. Basically Escape from Tarkov, but you're not going to get no scope from across the map. Table, I haven't heard that. Into the Breach, that's a fucking great game. Octopath, of course, another great game. Some itch.io puzzle games, I recall name of. <laughs> that's fair. Games are games, it doesn't matter where you get them from. You appear ready to face the dream leader then. Bring it. Okay. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Ba da ba da. Cryogonal. Go. Hexagon. Ah, shit. I just realized. Ugh, I don't know how we're going to do Oh, it's got fucking light screen as well. That is. Very annoying. Uh, it might honestly just be worth it to will a wisp and then swap out. Flash cannon. Wait, that's steel type. Um, cool. Don't know why you're using flash cannon. Uh, is nightshade affected by light screen? Let's have a look. It is not affected by light screen. Nice. Oh, you're just gonna be. That's not a. That's not a full heal. That's not a full restore. You're just gonna keep getting damaged, my guy. I'm sorry to tell you. That's one thing I'm kind of sad of that the Pokemon game doesn't teach you is all the hidden effects of status effects. Like, the fact that uh, Paralysis slows down Pokemon, Burn decreases physical attack. Huh? Oh, Melatonin. I saw Germa play that. It looks kind of, it looks funky. I respect it. I don't play many. I play, I need to play more Moustache, to be fair, because uh, I did play a bit, uh, a good chunk of that. I just haven't gone back to it yet, because uh, I've very much just been focusing on, like, TF2 and Genshin and FF14. And some VR chat, of course, on the side. I do also want to mainly go back and play through Elden Ring some more. Because I really need to. Because I've got, like, five char four characters I've, like, started and, like, gotten to, like, Kaled in. And then just stopped because I've been busy with other stuff. Also, probably just got burned out from playing Elden Ring so much during release. Return. I want to also try some PvP in Elden Ring because um they have the whole Coliseum now, so that seems like it could be a really good for some PvP. But I suck at Souls. Well, actually, Dark Souls Three, I was decent at PvP. The other Souls games, I fucking sucked. Four hundred hours in Elden Ring right now. That is way more than me. I can say that. I think I only have like a hundred and sixty something. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Well, actually, I think it's 160 and then add, like, oops, that was not the right thing. 160 and then add, like, I want to say 20, 30 from using, um, oh, no, I died, cring. <laughs> uh, it's like 160. Oh, my God, everyone's just dying to samurai. It's cracked. Um... From using seamless carp. I I put like 20, 30 hours into seamless carp, I'd say. Oh my Jesus Christ. Ah, shit. Well, it, it might as well just let Clive die. They've used all their healing. They have used all their healing. Does it have a moxie boost? No, it doesn't. How's it killing? Can King Crook outspeed a Samurott? No. But can we believe in the heart of the cards? Oh, never mind. King Crook is fast. Good job. Ki oh, wait. That's not even the ace Pokemon. I just realized that wasn't even the ace Pokemon. 
Oh, shit. Oh, well. Fuck. Okay. We have Moxie boosts. Even a Moxie boost rock tomb won't do much. I think we're just going to have to hope on the crunch to deal decent damage. Okay. We're going to die to this attack, probably. If King Crook lives... He's bulk up. That's defense, but we dropped its defense, so that's just neutral now. We still outspeed, though. Hey, good job, King Crook. That could have gone very wrong. Why is it the? Why was the fucking Samurai better than the Ace Pokemon? Probably because it was a fucking Water type in an Ice Gym. That guy was built like the fucking Elite Four and Sinnoh, the fire guy who has, like, a Drift Limb. It's like, oh yes, I'm the Fire Elite Four. Have a look at my Drift Limb. <laughs> Frost Breath. I've never heard of that move in my life. Uh, how do I get back? Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck in- oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say I'm gonna be stuck in the snow world forever. I want to leave the snow world. Toya Bianca, I'm wondering, since we left Numero Chan, has something about me changed? Think about what I want to do, think about what I should do. I feel like there was nothing. Have I really just become stronger? Is it in my Pokemon? Is it my Pokemon that I have? I don't know anymore. Hey, cheer up, Chan. Isn't it nice to see everyone? Then, you know what? This time, I'll go to the Pokemon fan club. I'm really searching for what I want to do and what I can do. Just like invest in gold or something. Borealis of the freezing mist in Bunker. <laughs> who, us? I'm Bianca and this is Sharon. I know who you are. Why don't you show yourselves? <gasps> ninjas! It ends fucking posse of ninjas for some reason. Come to Dragon Spar Tower. No. Why if I straight up just went no? But to be fair, they would catch a legendary and they would probably fuck people over. But it wouldn't matter because I have a water type. <laughs> that's the thing that's never sort of like brought up in Pokemon games. It's like, oh no, they have the legendary Pokemon. Oh, what would we ever do? And then it's like, like um, they have Mewtwo. Mewtwo, one of the strongest Pokemon. What will we do? And just send out a fucking, like, Caterpie. It's a bug type. It'll just body Mewtwo. Send out any dark type, and now Mewtwo is useless. God, Boreal Valley and Dark Souls 3 was fucking sick. I wish we had, like, another city in Elden Ring. Because we got Leyendale, and don't get me wrong, Leyendale is, like, the fucking coolest thing in the world. It's a fucking amazing city. I would just love another city. Oh, but the DLC could give us another city, hopefully. Because you don't really get... We got castles, like, of course, um... Well, we got the Academy of Ray Lucaria. Uh, Stormvale Castle, Red Main, Red, where well, you got Red Manor, that's just a house. Uh, is it Red Main Castle, which is like, or is it Fort? I forget. It's just very small. Oh, Gremlin. I'm trying to think of what other shit we got. You had the one, like, Poison Castle, where you fight the... Where it's like the castle where the people who were waiting for Melania were. I forget. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. <laughs> Volcano Mana, sorry, not Red Mana. I don't know why I thought Red. It's Volcano, not Red Mana. Um, which is just a house. And like a oh to be fair no there actually there is like the volcano manor has like a mini like village next to it but again that's more of a village not like a city but eh, it's kind of to be fair the 
village is mostly embedded in fucking lava. Uh... Oh, I see. And you must be Bianca. I'm the other Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper gave you the Pokedex to my daughter. Nice to meet you, Professor. Thanks to Professor Juniper, I gotta go on a journey and start figuring out possibilities for my life. I'm very, very grateful to her. Cedric. Is that right? Grand, grand. Actually, we should chat later. Bianca. Zane? Bianca. Here's the situation. Frenzied Flame Village. Yeah, literally just a village. <laughs> Other members of Team Plasma, quite a large group, broke through the tower wall and went inside. Bryson and that young man, I believe his name is Sharon. The two of them went after Team Plasma, but... What's the Dragon Spire Tower? I guess uh, you would be curious. Well, I'll explain briefly. Dragon Spire Tower has stood tall since long before Unova was founded. On the top tower, the legendary dragon-type Pokemon waits for a person seeking the truth to appear. That is what he said. Are you going to go after Team Plasma like your friend did? It's admirable for you to join the fight against Team Plasma, but it's risky too. Don't worry. Zane and Cherry are both really strong. They've been Team Plasma before. But they're not all really that strong, actually, I admit. I'm not very strong. So I was thinking it'd be nice if maybe I could stay here and be your bodyguard. Well, thank you. That'll make me feel much safer. Well, Zane, it's up to you to climb the tower. This is all I can give you, but it might help you rest. Old Gator, the cake that heals everything. So, what could Team Plasma be after? I don't fucking know. Legendary Pokemon? Who could have guessed? No. I don't know what that no was to, but just no. Out of... <laughs> no. Uh... I'm trying to think. Out of ring. <sighs> also, I guess the sad thing about Elden Ring that... To be fair, isn't even an Elden Ring issue. It's just a Dark Souls issue. Is that no to going? Yeah, no. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Go home and do my taxes. <laughs> um, is that the Souls? The whole like Souls problem is that the late game areas you just take so much damage that you lose like all interest in exploring. It's just always so sad. Um. Because they have, even in, like, the end game, besides fucking Dark Souls 1's Isolith, um, there are just really cool areas to explore, but you can't really explore them because you fucking, you take two steps down the wrong path, you insta-die. Like, in Elden Ring, after I got off of um, the Atlas Plateau and headed into the Mountain of the Giants, I pretty much just skipped everything. Um... With the only exception being um, Faramazula, where I'm pretty sure I... Uh, is, it, it's not, is it Faramazula? I think it's Faramazula. I explored... I ex uh, For me, I did explore Faramazula only because I did... Well, no, sorry. I explored the first half of Faramazula. The second half, no, I just ran through because I didn't want to deal with two fucking Lassanaxes. Um... And also, Elden Ring, for some reason, some bosses just don't have a stake of Mary Carrot side. Like, why the fuck does Dragon... Why doesn't Dragon Lord Placidus... A uh, Placid... Placidixus? I forget how... I don't remember how to pronounce it. Why doesn't he have a stake of Mary Dude's got, like, some... Tons of one-shot moves and has a fucking massive health pool, yet doesn't have a stake of Mary Like, what? Why? Really? You, d you, don't you don't care? No, oh, they, they just don't care. Oh, L. L plus Bozo. I'm hoping the DLC does sort of like... I kind of know. I don't know what I want from Elden Ring DLC. I don't know if I want a Dark Souls 1 style DLC or a Dark Souls 3 slash 2 style DLC. Because Dark Souls 3 and 2's DLC is endgame. Well, Dark Souls 3 kind of does both. But Dark Souls 2's DLC is endgame. Dark Souls 1's DLC is mid-game. And Dark Souls 3's DLC has a mid and endgame DLC. Radigan took a look at the Stake of America's. True. He just took a moment. Like, no. Fuck it. I don't want people seeing this. <laughs> Oh! 
I'm going to be honest, one of my favorite moments I remember from playing uh, Elden Ring is uh, learning that uh, one of the moments I remember was the whole, like, learning uh, Radagon is Mary Kerr. Because I actually did the, oh my god, just get fucking bodied. Uh, I actually did the full, like, quest line. Uh, the, um, uh, is it Corbin or something like that? And the the gold mask quest line. So I actually was like part of it all the way through. So I got to do the little thing where you do the pose and then it reveals the statue. And it's like, oh, what? Radagon is person? Who could have guessed? Not me. Also, why am I fighting Pokemon? I have repels. The ever brilliant gold mask. <laughs> And who could forget Sir Gideon Offnir, the all-knowing. And I also say this, I don't mean to be bad about it, but for me, personally, I feel like Elden Ring had the most forgettable NPCs, minus, like, the big ones, like, Alexander, Blythe, um... I feel like mainly, like, Alexander Blythe, <laughs> that I guess like Rani and Melania and it's Kave. Oh, Kave's Genshin. Wait, no, Kave is also Elden Ring. But like, there's so many forgettable NPCs. Like you have, I think there's a guy like called. I'm pretty sure there was genuinely just a guy called like Keith. Uh, you have like the daughter of Sir Gideon Offnir. I think it was daughter. Were they related? I don't remember. Um, you had the random, like, sword hunter guy, who I think turns evil at some point. Uh, the, like, girl who eats eyeballs. <laughs> Snake girl, who is actually best girl, to be fair. I just feel like, because there were so many NPCs, they a lot of them kind of lost their impact. Now, of course, in the in the Souls games, there is like a very limited supply of enemy. Kenneth, that's height. Nefeli Lu, oh, it's daughter of Chi Horalu, who yeah, Gideon adopted. That's it. It's just because there are so many more uh, NPCs in Elden Ring than the other Souls games. I feel like each one doesn't get a shine as much, and also. Uh... I still think Dark Souls 1 has the best NPCs just because of the, you know, the whole game design and, like, how the whole their level works and everything. Um, but just being able to teleport to the, like, round table all the time and the fact that the... Because of how the game was built... Well, because of how the game kind of had to be built with, like, NPCs being teleported everywhere around the map. Like, you'd meet an NPC in one place and then fucking teleport across the continent. There, there was this huge disconnect between characters because they were just sort of fucking weeping about the place. Like, you'd meet one character in one place and then they'd be like, oh yeah, now they're on the bridge in this place for some reason. It's just like, huh? Whereas, like, because of the old Souls games, you sort of had this forced progression of, like, you go from one stage to the next stage to the next. You could basically join these NPCs on their journey. You were with them every step of the thing. Because wasn't, like, for Keith's... For, like, Keith's story, you've got to, like, help him get his fort back. And then you've got to, like, also help Nefeli Lu and, like, Margit's servant. And then if you help those three, there's, like, a quest line. Which causes you to have to, like, go back and forth a bunch of times. Someone's angry. There's an angry boy up here. You can walk on the fallen cons, too. Okay, thank you. Don't know, never... Yeah, I know. It's just... It was a quest line I came across, and then I didn't know where it went from there. Um, let me jump off. I wish to commit jumping off of Pillar. 
But it's I it, it it's just kind of sad because of the fact there are so many NPCs and because the world is so big and so like and because of the fact that you can do the uh like story in any order, it makes it so that there's like a lot of disconnect between like a character's journey. And it also makes it really easy. Of course, one of the best characters in Elden Ring is just Patches, but Patches is always just one of the best characters because he's just in every fucking Souls game. Although I, I, I think Dark Souls 3's Patches... Well, Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 3's patch, Patches is the best because it's literally Patches. Like The fact Patches got a fucking like full character storyline in the Souls games is amazing. Dude's got fucking character development. It's based. I fucking love the Dark Souls 3. Um, like storyline. The Dark Souls 3 DLC storyline with patches. It's so good. No, I don't want to fight Pokemon. I am a coward. I do not wish to engage in fisticuffs, thank you very much. Let's get everyone up to 40, because I think we are a bit behind on some Pokemon, which is why they're getting bodied. Yes. Oh my god, Psychic. Oh, fuck yeah. A good move. Laps Armor is the coolest Soulsborne. Laps Armor, I wouldn't say coolest, but it's very fucking clean. My favorite Soulsborne armor set. Oh, fuck, that's a really hard decision. I like quite a few of the armor sets. <laughs> of course, Ornstein's armor is fucking clean as shit. Um, and one sec, let me just quickly do this before I continue, because I need to think about this stuff. Crunch. I already did that. <laughs> uh, Ornstein's armor is fucking basic. The Dragon Slayer armor in Dark Souls 3 is really good. Oops. Um, Alva's armor is one of my favorite armor sets. The Dark Souls, like, standard knight, like, the elite knight set. It's fucking clean. The Demon Souls Knight Armor is really... The Flute Armor is so fucking good. Scrafty, by the way. Hell yeah. Um, so many good armor sets. The Bronze Armor is cool. Lotrex Armor is personally one of my favorites. I fucking love that armor. The Dark... Uh, the Black Knight set. The Ringed Knight set is definitely up there, along with the Soul of Cinder armor set. I love both of those. They are so clean. And then we get into Elden Ring. My favorite armor set in Elden Ring is the Drake Knight set minus the helmet. Like, the rest of it, fucking awesome in my opinion. Who's Lautrec again? Lautrec was Lautrec the Embrace. The, um, the guy who you let out of the prison cell in the church at the beginning of Dark Souls 1. The guy who then goes to kill the fire... Well, I don't say... He doesn't go to kill the firekeeper. He does kill the firekeeper. If you let him live. He has the ring of favor and protection. Well met. I am Knight Lord Trek of Kareem. We're both undead. So perhaps we can... I fucking love Lord Trek. Lord Trek is so unapologetically evil. But I also love his... His voice is fucking amazing. I love his voice. But it's fucking like... Have you met a trusty Patches? Oh, if ever a man rubbed me the wrong way, when I find him, I'll have his hide. Connecting back to Patches being the fucking best character. There are a lot of them. What a complete bother. I can just fucking go. They don't care about me. Yeah, look at... Yeah, what are you, you going to... Oh, these are going to battle me. Yeah, I was about to say, those lot aren't going to battle me. But these ones are. Don't you dare go hello. Boom. People from Kareem are just kind of based. Lautrec and Igor. You'll find death. Enough death to leave you broken. So you helped the go, huh? Eagles kind of base as well. No! Oh, oh, it's super fine. That's fine. I 
Aha! You fool! You've been karate chopped! Bingo! Oh, and also, of course, Siegmire and Siegwood are fucking top tier. Because, of course, Siegwood and Siegmire. Well, no, Siegmire, then Siegwood, and then Alexander is pretty much. Alexander is just the Elden Ring Siegwood. <laughs> that pretty much is his purpose. Get yourself killed. Both of us want to see you go hot. Evil Alexander. <laughs> True. That that would be what he would do. Lay at your arms. Wait. Does Andre say lay at your arms, or is that only the Smith from Elden Ring? Wait. Did the Smith from Elden Ring have a name? Yeah, he did. I just don't remember it. <laughs> Because I'm think, Oh, Hugh. Isn't it Hugh or something? H-E-W-G, I think? I think Rodriga, uh, uh, Rodriga mentions him. Or is it H-E-U-G? It's something like that. Lay out your arms then. Hey, there it is. <laughs> In chat, eventually. <laughs> Forge your weapon to kill a god. Oh wait, there's already tons of those. I like this whole thing about, oh yeah, forge your weapon to kill a god. Even though the god slayer weapons already exist. Just like, bruh. Also, that, that, that's like the most metal cult I've seen in a fucking video game. Literally, the god slaying cult. And no, it's not just like a bunch of people saying they're going to kill gods. No, it's literally a cult of people who wear the skin of gods they've killed. That is like the most badass, like, flex fucking thing ever. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I respect that. But that that is just the most base thing ever. Uh oh, I'm gonna get. Ow! That was seven damage. I think the God Slayer's the. Oh, that's another thing Elden Ring's missing. Me and my homies gonna skin gods, pretty much. That's another thing that Elden Ring's missing. Is. I think Elden Ring. I, I, I'm hoping for the DLC. The DLC, I really hope it proves me wrong. I think Elden Ring probably has the most lackluster boss music out of the Soul series. There are like, there are some, don't get me wrong, Godric's theme, God Slayer's theme, and Radagon's theme, fucking great. Those are fucking amazing. But I feel like the rest of the game eh, kind of lacks the themes. Dark Souls 3, like, immediately from the get-go hits your bangers. Bort's theme is just a fucking banger for no reason. Index Gundir is also pretty fucking strong. And Ancestral Spirit is good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that is also true. Ancestral Spirit. It fucking, you got the Abyss Watchers. That goes hard. Pontiff. The Dancers. Fuck it, of course, Solar Cinder, because it's Gwyn's theme. And then, of course, you got Slave Knight Gale. Oh, there's so many songs that just go fucking hard. Bloodborne, of course, has the fucking strongest soundtrack of the Soul series. Uh, mainly the DLC. Of course, the base game, don't get me wrong, that's some good music, but the DLC. Ludwig's theme, in my opinion, is still the best um, boss theme in a Souls game. I, it's just so fucking good. Da, 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 da. In a Souls game. I think other games have had better music, but I think... It's just so fucking clean. Still never died to Pontus Sullivan. Still Chad energy. <laughs> before I actually streamed the game, before I did my spear playthrough, I would have been able to say I've never died to Freed. Uh, Frida. Um, Sister Freed. 
but I died in my spear playthrough. I can say I've never died to, um... Oh, what's the fucking... Ivory King. Ivory King, that's it. Let's try to remember the name of the boss. But to be fair, I've only fought him one time, and I killed him. <laughs> Now yeah, it's gambling our minds to try and control the flame of frenzy. The flame of frenzy is just the chaos flame again. Like seriously, you sh you should have learned the first time around. I know the chaos flame doesn't exist in Elden Ring, but yeah, come on, you sh you should have learned the first time around. I do need to delve more into the lore of Elden Ring, but um, oh no, I do I just very much find myself in a position where. I don't really feel like I have the time to watch you like the really long lore videos. I should really do it when I go to eat food, honestly. Like when I go to dinner, I should get out like a like one of those thirty minute Vardy video videos and then just fucking gorge myself on that. It's also because I need to play through Elden Ring a bit more to truly immerse myself. Oh, one of the I will say, in my opinion, I could be completely wrong, but one of the best features in Elden Ring. Are the merchants who are playing the violins. We already know I'm a sucker for like string music. Especially violin music. But that fucking. The sitting down at the. Like. When I first heard that in Elden Ring. I fucking stopped. And had to like just take it in. Just take in the music. And just. I, li I straight up listen. To the um that violin song while like uh doing uh like coding and stuff just as like background music because whenever i do work i i always have um like uh atmospheric music playing because y you don't want lyrics when doing work i i'll, pl I'll put on like the genshin soundtrack or the near soundtrack hollow knight soundtrack you know that fucking violin playing thing is so good and just immersive So fucking good. And I, I wish I had more um atmospheric music like that. But honestly, Souls games never really had atmospheric music besides like Firelink Shrine. <laughs> I personally think Genshin has the best atmospheric music, but that's well Genshin or FF14. Uh but that's because Genshin's been out for fucking ages, so uh, me and my homie's going mad if you in the private evil <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I really do want to look at the lore of the Frenzy Flame because what I remember from a bit of a video I saw of it was like oh, they didn't want to use that. It was like um, the whole like merchants and stuff were basically like lied. Like someone lied and was like, "Oh, these guys are worshiping this thing," and then they're like, "No, we're not." And they're like, "Yeah, they are. Kill them." And then. The merchants were basically like, okay, if you're going to lie about us fucking worshipping this evil thing, we're just going to worship it, because fuck you. <laughs> Which is based, honestly. Where the fuck do I go? Do I have to, like... Oh, fuck, I've got, like, a loop-de-doop somewhere. My brain was never built for puzzles. Frenzy Flame is just nihilism. I It very much was, like, the merchants were basically pushed to the end, in which they were just like, fuck it, we'll do it. They'll push into a corner and they basically were just like, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Why not at this point? To live is to suffer. <laughs> you would like the FF14 Endwalker expansion because that that has a lot of like a uh, commentary on like nihilism and stuff, and it's really interesting. Like they don't just go like the whole oh life is pointless and then just end it there. No, they, like, delve into a lot of the different, uh, like, elements of nihilism, and it's really cool. Do I have to... Uh, uh, four at once. I have to battle four plasma crunts at once. Let's go... But, but, uh, what? Oh my god, an AI? 
fucking swapping Pokemon? What is this? This isn't my Pokemon game. This isn't my Pokemon game. Or oh, Russ got his video on the philosophy of the frenzied flame. Oh, okay, yeah, I can watch that. Oh, I could probably watch parts of that. To be fair, I don't really care about symbolism in, in most games, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a shot. I'm pretty sure I got tired of symbolism after I fucking played through Nier Automata. Nier Automata was the game which killed, like, all of that shit about, like, this represents this, and then this represents actually how the world is actually, like, an, an egg, and, like, you know, the concepts of humans being the yolk that... And just, like, can you just... I just want to kill robots. Shut the fuck up. Like, did you know that Pascal is actually a representation of <laughs> communism in the 1960s? <laughs> that's not actually true. I'm just saying random shit. But that's kind. Of, that's what I like. All like every time I see one of those videos, that's like the kind of shit that goes into my brain. Okay, I'll I'll give it a bit of a shot then. I'll give it a bit of a shot because I don't really give a shit about nihilism. Like nihilism, cool. If you don't think there's any point in the world, just fucking go throw yourself into a car. I don't care. It's not my problem. <laughs> not for me. Oh no, God wrote a book at some point. Oh, no. Dude, do the bleep. The, don't worry, there'll probably be some stupid, like, internet challenge soon, which will be like. Actually, what what do we. Have that, has there been, like, a stupid internet challenge in a while? I mean, is it, like, a, like an edible one? Because, of course, you had the cinnamon challenge, which was just dumb. Then you had, like, the. Was it, like. It was, like, bleach and then Tide Pods? Like. <laughs> Has there been one since Tide Pods? The internet really is a wild west, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I feel like there's got to have been another like thing. I don't think there is a point to existence. Doesn't mean I try to act higher my Yeah. The thing is like Well, I I technically think there's a point to existence. It's to breed and continue on your species. Uh, that's the reason why you exist. Uh, but it's just like the whole like that's from, that's from, like, an animalistic point of view, you know? That's not from, like, an actual, like, thinking point of view. That's just, like, the animal point of view. Um, and it's probably something I'm not going to contribute to because I have no interest in having children because children are just balls of fucking slime. Don't use the term breed. <laughs> Don't use the term breed. It scares me. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that thing. So, sort of, I, I very much philosoph- my sort of idea is, like, I, I guess, I guess my idea you could probably stretch to be nihilism, because I feel like with any ideology, they're all so fucking broad, you could probably describe anything as anything. But my sort of idea is, like, we don't ne we don't have like a specific reason to exist. You just sort of choose your own reason to exist. You life the the for me the objective of life is to find a you know your own reason. Whether it's uh, you want to achieve something, love it could be it could just be money. It could be working out like anything. Foul play, oh shit, oh wait, isn't foul play like bad because it, uh, I don't think, uh, F, yeah, we, oh no, I need cut because we might, because uh, I think foul play, it has 95, but I don't know if it goes higher, let me quickly check, uh, I need to check if gen 5 foul play face power? I don't believe in reason. I believe in nothing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, one sec. 
Okay, it's base power. Okay. Okay, so the base attack stat. Okay, so foul plays base ninety five is not good. Okay, what what do I what do I believe in? Uh, you could believe in um, me and my uh, friend. I think it was when I was really like tired and we were playing Pixelmon back in like twenty nineteen. But I started making up this whole shit about how isopods created the universe. You don't need to believe in anything. Just to fucking exist. <laughs> as the, as you say like there, just existence. I just made... I, I'm pretty sure I was like completely fucking mentally exhausted. Um, and we were just playing Pixamon and I just started rambling about how isopods create the universe and how there's this council of isopods that determine... How the universe function. <laughs> the council of isopods have determined your existence. Isopods are awesome though. I like they're just fucking they're just guys. They're just dudes being dudes, you know? Eating the floor and stuff like that. Consuming like random floor matter. It's just guys being dudes. Silly little guys. <laughs> Isopods never needed to evolve because they're already the perfect creature, like crabs, that whole... It was kind of sad that that whole, like, theory about how everything's evolving into crabs, like, was disproved. I'm just like, bro, just let things evolve into crabs, all right? Don't fucking judge them. Just let things evolve into crabs. This is something I don't have to talk about, despite being raised as one. I'm not fully atheist, but it's hard to summarize my beliefs. I'm guessing if you're not fully atheist, then you're most likely just in the agnostic sort of thing of you don't know if there's a higher power. Not that you don't believe, not like you're not completely like, oh, there's no higher power. You're just not sure. Three D graphics, three. I, I actually can't tell. I think it's three D. Yes, three D graphics. This is the DS that can that can do three D. Look, it's the white man. We have discovered the first white man. Let's try to figure out a good explanation. Take your time. Take your time. What do you think, Zane? How do you like the beautiful form of the Pokemon appears before and fights besides the hero that leads the way? To a new world. Not that impressive, honestly. I think, like, Rayquaza is a bit more impressive. I like, Deoxys is like an alien. Like, Groudon and Kyogre are pretty cool. It, it ain't no Arceus. Or Dialga and Palkia. Oh, man, that hurt Pokemon to a world. How, wait, how does you defeating the Pokemon champion end Pokemon suffering? You do know there's... Eight other regions, right? Even four at the time of this conversation. But there's eight other regions with other legendary Pokemon. I don't think you beating the Unova champion does anything. <laughs> As we're speaking, there's probably a ten-year-old catching God. <laughs> like... Try and stop us. What will you do? You meet Zekrom, the Pokemon with you, with you believe in so strongly. Will you be the one who interferes in my formula for changing the world? If you want to protect the bonds between people and Pokemon, you must search for Zekrom. I'm sure I'll be waiting you in the form of the Dark Stone. 
Goodbye. You just got kidnapped. Yoink. Yeah. Just how, how could this be? Why? That was the guy N, right? Why is he with the legendary Pokemon? Can he really be the hero? Could he? Also, I didn't tell you to search for the other legendary Pokemon. Calm down. First, we go back. It's more important to decide what to do next and analyze what just happened. I still don't get how them being the Pokemon champion of only Unova means anything. <laughs> Stunning. I never imagined the legendary Dragon type Pokemon will return now. That guy called N, Team Plasma's boss, apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. He told Zane to look for the other legendary Pokemon, then flew away. Huh? There are two legendary dragon type Pokemon? Oh boy! <laughs> Bianca, have I got a story to tell you? I'm gonna put the word into motion, but I do believe it's a higher being. Do I believe it's not necessary, but I find it plausible. Do I care somewhat? Yeah, yeah, that would be in the lines of agnostic, of you're not sure if there's a higher power, but you're not like, you're not 100% confident, but you don't complete, again, it's a sort of, you're not sure. That, I'm pretty sure, is agnostic or something. But no, it's your own belief. Don't let anyone fucking label shit, because it's stupid. <laughs> Labeling stuff is dumb. Why, if it is an elder, it's been a while, have you been well? No time for chit-chat. That fearsome column of fire that shot from the tower? That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world. If it's on Team Plasma's side, and Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon, no matter where it comes from, fear or admiration, the world can't help but change. Just use a water type! Just use a water type! Get a fucking Garchomp! Garchomp would probably body him! It would become a world where we are separate from Pokemon. Right. Moreover, the boss of Team Plasma, N, who reawakened Reshiram, apparently said to look for the other Pokemon, Zekrom. If I remember the myth, Reshiram's fiery breath, along with the other Pokemon, devastated Ancient Nova in an instant. Knowing that, N is still willing to awaken the other? Yeah, that's just like every legendary Pokemon. Isn't it dangerous to bring a Pokemon that powerful? Yeah. Unless you're a very kind of person. I don't know if other Pokemon will be able to stand up to it, because no matter what it is... A legendary being. I don't have an idea of taking orders from men, but searching for the dragon, the stone, might not be a bad plan. We certainly can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I've traveled all over Nova, I have an idea of where it might be. Let's head to Reddit Castle, Zane. I'm going. I see. Well, I'll leave that to you. I'm going to investigate the tower, hopefully find something. Then I'll go with you. Bye. I think I, I understand better. <clears throat> Being able to do something with Pokemon for somebody at a time like this is strength. I'm sure of it. My theory on a higher being is uh, that the world into motion absurd total apathy without interfering. So it could be like, a, you know, an, an old god sort of thing. That's fair. I respect that. I respect everyone's belief. Because we are basically just evolved monkeys who aren't sure what we're doing. Okay, Jambi, let's hurry. No big deal. Some kids don't know what to do. Are you going to go to the Reddit Castle? Pass route 4. Ah, oh, yeah, because it's the desert. Okay, now we go to Reddit Castle, which I was trying to fucking last stream when I was looking for a frillish. <laughs> and to be fair, even calling us evolved monkeys isn't even an insult. I feel like calling humans just evolved monkeys is actually an extreme compliment because we're literally just evolved monkeys and the shit we've done, like, holy shit. Oh, we've gone to the... We invented electricity. We went to the moon. We fucking... We got planes and shit. I even know how a fucking computer works. And we invented those. We, we fucking shoved lightning into a rock and forced it to think. Who invented this? I don't know. Probably someone on cocaine. I'm going to be honest. It was a British person. They were probably on cocaine. Shit, I need a flying type. Oh, I need to go fly back to Route 4. Wait, where am I in terms of the map? Where am I? Okay, I'm in Icarus City, and I need to go back down to Castella City, I think. Yeah, it's somewhere there. <laughs> or I could go to Nimbasa, actually. 
Either one would probably work, I feel. Only you could just use the fucking, like, Pokemon pet pal guy. The, the, the thing where, like, you just have, like, an Uber. Like, just the Pokemon Uber system. I would like that, please. Where is my unpheasant? Oh, there it is. Uh, you can just take one second out, Chloe. I just gotta quickly go zoo off to another place. I'm gonna fly. Ruff. And then you fly. Wee. Nyom. Okay, now. I forget this fucking this sound has this was such a boy. Humans put humans under power and then proceed to start the end of the world. Was it really short side? Yes, is it just just have a power wield as a whole? True. Well you say the end of the world, but it hasn't Don't don't wait it's like fucking don't count your eggs before I forget what it is. It's don't count your chickens before they hatch. Or don't count your eggs before they Yeah, it's don't count your chickens before they hatch or some shit. Who knows if we'll end the world? Humanity has almost ended the world like 12 times, and yet we're still fucking kicking somehow. Again, we've- humans have been- humans have survived extinction before we can do it again. I- I just have a lot of confidence in humanity as a whole. Humanity can do great things, and they can do terrifying things. It has to be the yin and yang. <laughs> it's easier to destroy than it is to create, and yet you, we have built fucking civilizations. Humans are as mentally resilient as cockroaches as... F pretty much! Oh shit, I, I want to make sure I use my thing here. It reminds me of, uh, I think Dr. Stone had that as a thing, where, like, um, basically, the plot of Dr. Stone is all humans get frozen in, like, stone, and then, like, 3,000 year pass, all of civilization is destroyed, and then dude's trying to, like, rebuild society using the power of science, and he brings back a guy to, like, help him because he's, like, super strong. So he's like, yeah, he's good. But then the super strong guy's like, you know what? If we have a chance of restarting society, I'm not going to, like, let the corruptions of a modern world take over. And so he's like, I'm not going to let science develop and shit. And um, the main character is just like, it doesn't matter how much you try and shut down science. All it takes is one person and eventually science is just going to happen. Well, that has been made can be brought. Exactly. All right, have a good sleep, though, Cynthia. Hopefully you get some good rest. I'm probably going to end stream soon. Not yet, but uh, soon. Oh, you bugger. Of course you have a dark type attack. Of course you do. Duh. Oh, you've... Daddy... Oh, you... Isn't it? Oh, it's rap. Wait. Oh, it's rock type. Rock type. I was confused. I always forget Smackdown's a rock type move instead of a fighting move. For some reason. I don't know why. They decided. You know what? This move, which involves, like, assaulting, like, attacking. Yeah, this, this one's rock type now. Because. I uh, they like. Ah! Do not use the lemonade. That is my lemonade. They just, I guess, put that move's typing in, like, a randomizer. I'm just like, whatever gets spit out, we're just gonna do. I, I respect that, honestly. Just letting it up to chance and just be like, yeah, if, if we get anything, we're just committing to it. Yay! What is the ruins? I found the ruins. Ah, still can't go up here. 
not much of a resort. I can't see three feet forward. Oh. Do not want do not want the fucking rappel wearing off. Jesus Christ. That is something that I fear I fear nothing except for the rappel wearing off. That is the most terrifying thing in a Pokemon game. Just your rappel is gone. You are now. <laughs> There is nothing to stop a million Zubats from mugging you now. Zubat is about to colonize this entire universe. I wonder if there is any Pokemon in the Pokemon world that's like sort of treated as like a um I was gonna say an infection. I mean as in like a uh Sorry, Chan, I'm trying to remember something. It's not it's is it it is infestation, isn't it? Because you've got like kangaroos are a pro like an infestation. They're a problem. You're impressive, Zane. Make it here provided. Dealing with desert resorts, Pokemon took longer than I thought. I think I've beat most of these trainers already. I only made it all the way here thanks to my Pokemon. Other one ahead. Let's hurry. Well, I'm probably gonna end off here then. So cause this gives us just an objective to focus on next time. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. I shoot for quite a bit today, even though I had work and stuff. I think I did pretty well, because it's 10 o'clock and I, I probably should be going to bed soon. Um, but yes, I hope you did enjoy this stream. Uh, next stream will probably be more Pokemon, because I'm going to be doing my Genshin stuff off stream. I might uh, like release a video of me and my friends' reactions to the pools and stuff like that. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to be recording it, and then I could probably like do some tweaking there, here and there to, to, to do some shit. But yes, I hope you did enjoy the stream. Next stream should be more Pokemon unless something comes out of nowhere. I hope you lot enjoyed it. I hope you guys stay safe, stay hydrated, and the isopods are watching. What? Sorry? Nothing. I just realized I don't think game or oh no, game audio Oh, game audio wasn't on this entire stream. I just realized that. Well, sorry. <laughs> I'll remember it for next time. Have a good one. <laughs>